Let's go to the men's Cincinnati draw now because the men are playing in Cincy and we've got a return of Djokovic, which we haven't seen Djokovic since Wimbledon. In the off-season or the off-time, he grew a beard. Let's see, let's see if he keeps the beard. Of course, we've got Chorich as the defending champion and he is playing, but there are a lot of names not playing in this one, so let's go to the withdrawal list. So the withdrawal list is a long one. Starting with Batista Agu, he is not going to play. Either is Bublik, which is interesting because he has been pretty good lately and he's not going to play this one. Krinja Busta also pulling out. Chilich also withdrawing. Kyrgios is also pulled out, also not playing playing the US Open. Uh, Rayonich pulled out, Shapovalov's also pulled out, and Struff also missing from this event. So a lot of names there, the, a lot of familiar names, especially in the 1000s, that uh, the 1000 level that we're used to seeing do well at these events, they're not gonna be there. But we do have a lot of good players, so let's go to the top of the draw. Top of the draw, we've got 16 seeds. The top eight seeds get a buy in the first round, starting with Alcrez, the number one seed. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Isna or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got Umber taking on a qualifier. Winner of that would take on either Kichmenovic or the number 14 seed, Tommy Paul. Tommy Paul versus Alcaraz, rematch third round after what we just saw today in Canada. I mean, that is cruel, but also exciting uh, for tennis fans. So we might get a rematch straight away. Then you've got Tiafo, the 10th seed, taking on Griegsball. Winner of that would take on either Nakashima or Vavrinka in the second round. Then you've got Harris taking on a qualifier. Winner of that would take on the number five seed, Casper Ruud. Besides that Tommy Paul match, I think Elgris will like his chances. You know, I think Tiafo in the quarterfinals is most likely because of the surface. But, you know, Ruud can surprise at times on hard courts. Vavrinka. He's also in the section, but I think Alcaraz are like this. I think Tommy Paul's his biggest threat. Let's see how quickly he can learn after what happened this week in Canada. Okay, next section of the draw, we've got City Pass, the number four seed. He will take on either Shelton or Eubanks in the second round. Straight away, that's a fire matchup. Eubanks rematch against City Pass from Wimbledon or Shelton against City Pass, which is so much fun to watch. That could be fire. Then you got Hercatch taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Quarter or the 15th seed, Chorich, the defending champion. Tough start for Chorich. Very tough start. Then you got the number 11 seed, Hashinov taking on Murray. Great first. Winner of that will take on either Sufiulin or Jarry in the second round. Then you've got Rusevori taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on the number seven seed, Rublev, in the second round. So Rublev, City Pass, quarterfinals. But the way they play this week, that's not very likely. It's probably more likely going to be Hercatch versus Murray or something. I mean, the way that the top seeds played this week in Canada gives you no confidence in them. Of course, this section will take on the Alcris section. So we could be getting Alcris versus City Pass, Alcris versus Rublev, Alcris versus Korda, or maybe even Alcris versus Hercatch if we want to go with the more more likely or the most you know the, the the matchup that we probably want to see the most after what we saw in Canada that was a fire in the third round great semi-final if we get it and of course Rude is also in that section so maybe if Rude could beat Elkres or Elkres doesn't get through a Rude City pass Rude Rublev any of those combinations bottom half of the draw we've got Runa the number six seed in the second round he will take on either McDonald or Hampman we're going out in the first round then we've got Gasquet taking on Manorino winner of that will take on either Berrettini or the number 12 seed Ogier Aliassime and it just keeps getting worse for FAA tough first round Berrettini we know how how good he can be. Number 16, Seed Zverev. He'll take on Dimitrov. That's a fun first round. Winner of that will take on either Nishioka or Barrer, the second round. Then you got Evans taking on Musetti. Winner of that will take on the number three seed, Medvedev, who had a big shock loss in Canada last week. So interest interesting to see how this works out. Of course, Runa, Medvedev, if you want to go with the seeds. FAA, Zverev, if you want to go a little bit different for a quarterfinal. Or if you want to go on, I mean, Dimitrov Berrettini could be a legitimate quarterfinal because they are good enough to get there. And the bottom section of the draw, we've got Sinner. The number eight seed, he'll get to buy in the first round. He'll take on either Sarundalo or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got Sinego taking on a qualifier. Winner of that would take on either Lehechka, the number nine seed, Fritz. I mean, Lehechka and Fritz, that's a five first round. Then you've got the 13th seed, Nori taking on Monfils. Tough for Nori there. Winner of that will take on either Diminor number, or uh, JJ Wolf in the second round. Then you've got Fakina taking on Echeverry. Winner of that will take on the number two seed, Djokovic, who's back first time since Wimbledon. And the first time in America in over two years. So uh, great to see Norlay back. This is an interesting section. You know, Fritz Lehechka, Sarundalo, Fakina Diminor, Monfils, Nori, Sinner, Djokovic. A lot of very tricky matches there potentially for any of those guys. Djokovic, you know, you'd think he'd get through, but again, not easy. And of course, this section will take on the Medvedev section. So Djokovic Medvedev could be a semi final, which we love to see. Could be Djokovic versus Runa, which of course we love to see as well. I mean, we haven't seen them play on hard court since Paris where Runa got the win last year. Or if you want to go a little different, you could go Sinner versus Medvedev, Sinner versus Runa. Again, great matches all round from that section of the draw. Who's going to win Cincy? I don't. I mean, I like Medvedev's draw. You know, I think he has a nice draw, but Alcaraz has probably got the easiest draw if you want to, you know, put him up against all the opponents, except for Tommy Paul. Djokovic, can he win another one here? I mean, he's won a, lot of, a couple of Cincy's in the last couple of years, but he... 
It has a kind of a tricky draw. I mean, a lot of good players that are playing well. Fakina could be his first match, you know, his second round match, which Fakina's in the semifinals of Canada this week. Sinner, you know, is getting better. I don't know. I mean, I think it could be up in the air. There's a couple of guys. I'm going to go Medvedev. I think Medi's going to come good in Cincy. Maybe avoid Djokovic or beat Djokovic to get there. And I don't know if Alcaraz is going to win Cincy. It's a little quick, but let me know down in the comments below or let me know in the, in the chat. What do you reckon is going to happen? In Cincy, who's going to take the men's title? But very interesting, George Djokovic, Elkris back in the draw for the first time in America for over two years.